Hello and welcome back to our series on the news in Assassin's Creed games, where we examine what the heralds are saying and try to put some context to see if it actually is legitimate or not. Without any further ado, I shall let the herald talk. Artisans transporting heavy materials are reminded to use the main roads whenever possible. Recent ox congestion on the smaller Strade del Rione severely curtailed trade, which flourishes only when it can move freely. This announcement is a great reminder that city congestion isn't just a thing of the present. It has existed for hundreds of years. As you can probably assume from it, artisans and that group contains everyone from those working with paints, to those bringing in marble to work on construction in the city, have been found bringing in large halls down smaller streets, which has given people headaches, um, enough headaches to pay the Herald to speak on it. This could be in reference to trade and materials that were brought in by land or by sea and then carried throughout the city. At this time, land transport was technically easier than sea transport, um, but it was challenging nonetheless. And these wagons they used had to be very robust because the roads could become disasters with weather, so... Here comes are to report all accidents, petty crimes, hospitality issues, or other complaints to the office of the receiver of complaints in the Vatican. For more serious criminal activities, please present yourself to any member of the Guardia. Pilgrims! Like we've mentioned a few times in the series, Rome is a major Christian pilgrimage site and a stop for those headed to the Holy Land. Therefore, it sees a massive influx of people throughout the year for religious reasons. Unfortunately, as with other new people to a city, this group is especially vulnerable to, well, incidents. Fortunately, it seems Renaissance Rome has an answer for this, which is genuinely surprising. The receiver of complaints apparently exists to help facilitate any issues, any small issues anyway. To be honest, I couldn't find anything to substantiate that this office actually existed. And, um, yeah, I have my doubts. Please note, the office of the receiver of complaints in the Vatican has closed for an indefinite period of time in order to mark the passing of its sole officer, Bishop Moretti. Welp, that makes way more sense. Amazing detail here. So these pilgrims uh, looking to report some problems they've had are actually out of luck. And there was only one member in the entire office anyway. Am I hearing that right? Dang. Anyway, I looked to see if there was actually a Bishop Moretti who was in Rome around this time and I only found one that was kind of close and that's Bishop Antonio Moretti of uh, a local township Alif uh, in Italy he was appointed in 1458 and died in 1482 so actually he would have been dead for about 18-ish years um, but I'll link to uh, his page below the most revered Holy Father has blessed the initiative to raise the rents of the Rioni's churches and holdings. In these uncertain times, Christianity's war chest must be kept brimming. Ho ho ho! The Pope has given his blessing to raising rents. And um, this message is a bit unclear. How would churches get more money from being charged more rent but I believe what is actually being said is that those living on the lands owned by the church which at this time it's quite a lot of land uh, are now going to be charged more for that privilege that would make the most sense and in defense of uh, raising these rents and um, trying to build up the war chest on the horizon, though they don't know it yet, um, is Martin Luther's 95 Theses. That's coming in about two decades. So that's going to set off a whole heap of unrest. 
The Consiglio Rionale would like to remind all cittadini that displays of public drunkenness and lewdness will only be tolerated within limits on feast day. The saints may favor your fervor, the council will not. Once again, as long as insert item has existed, people have taken it way too far. Now, this post about people getting drunk likely doesn't just come from the local council, but it easily could be coming from the mouth of the church. While alcohol is allowed to be consumed in Christianity, it's only allowed in moderation, and excess of drinking is seen as a sin. So, it would make sense that the uh, council uh, would be announcing that people shouldn't be getting drunk on the... Um, numerous feast days in the city and that is gonna do it for us today thank you so much for watching and uh, check back next time for more assassin's creed content